Okay, we got a little cake right here. And we got six piglets over there. <laughs> Let's see which one wins the race. Here they come! Which one's the fastest? Oh! <laughs> that, come on, guys! That is so funny. Oh. Oh, yes! That is good! <laughs> That's a fun little treat. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Okay, all of the piglets are gone to their new homes. Some of the people wanted to be recorded, some didn't. So here are some highlights of who picked up some of the piglets. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> all right guys, this is Evelyn and Macy and they are going to take home Gus Gus. So we are so excited because they're gonna have so much fun. Are you guys excited? <laughs> yeah. All right, Pumbaa's ready to go to his new home. So this is Kelly and Dustin and they are Pumbaa's new parents. <laughs> So we're excited. You guys have like, did you say you had two and a half acres? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's yeah. nice. And you have goats and-, and... we have a few goats and already. And he's, he's mostly gonna be a house pig with kitty cat, sister, brothers, and all, all that right. good stuff. <laughs> that's fun. Well, he's definitely gonna love that. Sweet baby. Well, you might have noticed that one of the piglets was missing there. Elsa is going to stay here because she has a good bond with Salem. Hermione is kind of clashing with Salem a little bit and she has a good home that she can live with Ron at our friend's house. And we can go and film when she gives birth, when she has babies with Ron. So it'll be like she's still here and part of the family because you'll get to see all the babies. So it's kind of sad. We're gonna miss uh, Hermione being here every day and Elsa is gonna be a great pet on the farm here. You get to have fun forever and ever. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, you're standing in the corner. We've got all the goats here, ready for food, and Salem ready to run out. Okay, Tilly, you remember where to go? No, that's the wrong way. Yeah, it's over here. There you go. Thank you. Have a good day today. Okay, so we think that Hazel is pregnant, but we won't really know for sure for about another month. So in the meantime, we're just gonna keep milking her. She's kind of towards the end of her milking year, so she doesn't have much left, but hopefully in a month or so, we'll be able to ultrasound her and see if she's pregnant with Zorro babies. <laughs> she's like wagging her tail. It's like a friend. Salem, what do you have? Is that a bug? Did you find a moth? Hey, what did you find? I've got treats. There you go. So in an effort to get this buckling to be friends with me, I've got to hand feed him. Normally as we transition our bucks to real food, we really don't give them any grain, but I have to do it right now. It's the only way he is gonna eat out of my hand and get more comfortable with me. It's a pain to try to get Wild goats tame, I tell ya. 
But Olive is super tame. Daphne is super tame. Come here. And this little guy, he's getting there. We decided on a name for this new little buckling. And there were lots of good ones, man. We had we had a tough time deciding. But we wanted something like really strong, really uh, masculine and majestic. So we decided on Napoleon. It's one of Lydia's favorite movies and we also just sort of love that name. It's a very strong name. So this new little red buckling that we got, his name is going to be Napoleon. Luna always deserves a treat. Here you go. <laughs> They're all jealous. Winnie, are you just gonna chew your cud right here? <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, watch out. Be nice, Luna. Be nice. Karen, are you gonna be nice today? Okay, let me check under you real quick. Oh, look what you have. Thanks, ladies. From the three Nigerian dwarf goats we're milking, we get about a half gallon a day of milk. And from the about 15 chickens that we have here, we get about eight eggs a day. One of my favorite things to make with our fresh goat's milk is chev, which is basically goat cheese. Goat cheese at the store can be very pungent, very strong, but it all depends on how long you culture it. I only let ours culture for about 12 hours, so pretty much overnight. You can buy your culture online at various stores or Amazon. It's just a little powdered substance that you add to the milk and then you let it sit out on the counter. And it works the same way as yogurt. The next morning it's all thickened and all I have to do is just drain it. So I'll lay down a little bit of cheesecloth and then start draining it. After about six hours of draining, it's about the perfect texture. And most of the time we eat it fresh, but sometimes, like I'm doing here, I'll freeze a little bit to use later because fresh goat cheese doesn't really last that long and I wanna be able to enjoy it for longer than a week. So the final count is six chicks. I think that'll be it. She still sits on the eggs, but probably won't get any more chicks out of there. Well, they go in that little cage and then they come back. Look, he's all stuck. He's gonna get out the... Oh my gosh. Okay, you gotta come back. I know the size difference between the first one <laughs> Look at and that. the last one. Is that a mama chick and a baby chick? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh, so sweet. All right, After. we've decided on names. Okay, so this kitty, this, this is the fluffiest kitty of them all. Super affectionate, super cute. It's a boy, so his name's gonna be Lucifer. <laughs> And I know some people don't like the name, but it's from Cinderella. <laughs> okay, this kitty is super playful and kind of mean sometimes. She likes to bite you. She's a girl. And her name is Harley. Harley, that's cute. I like it. She does look mean. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the smaller kittens, and her name is Raven. I think it's cute. Fits yeah, her. yeah, that's super cute. Okay. This kitten is a boy and he's named after one of our favorite movies, Hocus Pocus. So his name is Binks. He looks like he's <laughs> drunk. He just had he's breakfast, tired. so he's tired now. Mm -hmm. Are you tired? Yeah. You're so messy. You're so messy. Hey, stick to him. Need more toys. So the question everybody wants to know is, are you gonna keep one or four? Well, <laughs> we might keep, oh, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. Well, we might keep one of them depending on if one of them has a super cute personality. They're all pretty cute right now, but we'll have to see what they turn into. Okay. 
And this is our little niece Ivy who loves to come out and play with the kitties. Which one is your favorite? Uh, I like all of them. All of them? Yeah. And we're just about, I know I keep saying this, but we're just about to start swimming in the pond. We usually have to wait till it hits about 100 degrees before we can stand to be in it for any longer than two minutes. But next video, I promise, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna start swimming, we're gonna do all of the fun pond things that we've been waiting for all winter. She's just hanging out here. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen you anywhere. Are you nice? You wanna bite me? No. Lydia, okay, close your eyes. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Okay. I saw this plant fell over, oh. and so I pulled it up, and look. Oh, potatoes. Potatoes. Now, they're not super big, but. But they're potatoes. But I grew them. You grew them. If you're going through changes, well, babe, won't you come along? There's a big one, Lydia. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, I think it's a little early, but that's a start. Salem's been kind of running through the garden, making messes everywhere, and she ran over this last potato plant on the end of the row, so. Kinda had to pull them, but I think maybe in a few more weeks, we should be able to pull all of them and have one big potato dinner. I think I have just enough potatoes to make dinner tonight. It's not gonna be much, but it'll be good enough. Fresh potatoes from the garden are so crisp and always taste better, so I'm excited to be able to finally use them in tonight's dinner. We'll get those potatoes boiling, and then we're gonna make something that I usually make every summer when we have corn. I didn't grow corn this year, but let's see if you can guess what it is. First, you mix up some mayo and some sour cream along with a little bit of lime, and then you assemble all of these goodies here. Have you guessed it yet? I'll let you think about it while we finish making dinner. I'm gonna make a really simple spice rub to go on our pork chops tonight. And then we're gonna fire up the grill and cook the chops and the corn. After the potatoes are done and I've got them nice and creamy from this morning's milk, it's time to assemble the elote, which is basically Mexican street corn. And it is my favorite. You cover it with the sour cream and mayo mixture, add cotija cheese, some chili powder, some cilantro, and a little bit of lime on the top. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Next, we'll just add our pork chops and our mashed potatoes from the garden, and oh my gosh, this was amazing. A perfect start to the summer. So I'm sitting on the deck with Ethan, we're chatting about his epic prom experience. You survived. <laughs> Didn't think I would. <laughs> it was a whole day of day date and prom, yep. dancing, party. Went to the dance, which was super far away, but it was fun to drive in our little party yeah. bus thing. Yeah, that was a fun bus. Kevin had a friend that let him rent one of those big sprinter vans. So the kids got to ride in a really cool decked out sort of party bus, and Kevin was the chauffeur. So. Did dad do okay? Did he bug you guys too much or was it okay? <laughs> he didn't bug us. He was good. That's good. We stayed way longer than we thought we would. At the actual dance? Yeah. yeah. It was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Cool. Eventually we went home and most of us like almost fell asleep on the <laughs> ride home. Yeah, it was a long day. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I'm glad. Your date had fun? Yeah. All right guys, thanks for joining us in today's video. If you wanna go back and see the video where Hermione delivered all of those nine piglets, six only survived, but nine piglets, and see if you can recognize any of the little babies, click right here.